Kim Kyungishan Dojian. All right, guys, here we go. It is PvP on Atlantis Spaceship, and in the red at the top of the map is the last hope for the Prime team. It is Creator Prime. And down at the bottom of the map in the yellow, will he able to win his third game in a row now? It is OGS Vines. Yes, it is. I Have I seen a PvP on Atlantis Spaceship? That's what I'm wondering I, to myself right you know, now. I don't know if I have, to be completely honest with you. I don't know if I have before. I've probably casted, I don't know, I'd say 30, 40 games on this map now or something like that. Uh, but and they've, they've included all the other matchups I can think of. I know I've casted TVT, CBCs, and all of the various different mix matchups, but I do not believe I've seen a PvP here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, should be interesting. Both these guys throwing down their pylons at the same time, so no sort of uh, crazy proxies or anything like that quite yet. Yep. I think the day we see uh, Creator Prime do some sort of proxy build will actually be the day <laughs> that the Earth stops and everyone just, like, flies out of their rooms to the wall because the Earth is, Earth is spinning it like it is. Yeah. A lot of miles per hour or something like that. I hate to tell you guys. I mean, it is creator. It may be PvP, but we're still in store for about a 75-minute game. <laughs> well, so. you notice he picked, like, one of the biggest two-player maps I we know. have as well. And and that's that. we should talk about Creator Prime a little bit. If, yes. if you don't know, Creator Prime is a player that really, really loves to macro. He loves yep. to play long games. He's, he feels very comfortable in the late game at a big army supply. Um, he has great macro. He has great multitasking. Um, so we're probably going to see some sort of expand build out of him. I could be wrong, but normally we do see that from him in PvP, the few that we've seen. And uh, Vines, on the other hand, is he tends to be more of a standard PvPer, so he kind of likes to mix things up. Some expand builds these days, and some one base plays, some Blink Stalker, some Colossus, things like that. And Vines going to get a lot later scout on his opponent, of course. But uh -huh. uh, other than that, builds have been pretty identical. Looks like Vines cut one pro there. Uh, for a few seconds, Chrono Boost is exactly the same for these two players as well. So not much to separate them. The real tell is going to become in uh, or is going to happen when both players decide to throw down their uh, second gases. Looks like Vines. I don't know if he's just he's blocking just to for block the time it. being. Yeah, yeah, I think he is. Yep, needs to move that probe and then he can build that second gas. <laughs> Those <laughs> probes are going to get dizzy see. if they don't. Stop that. <laughs> That's kind of uh, messing with my mind a little bit. I actually, I don't know, it's hypnotic. I can't take my eyes off I of know. it. I don't care what else is going on in this game right now. I just want to watch this. <laughs> I, I think there's oh, a second the gas up <laughs> <laughs> Really? Okay. Hey, all right. Oh, okay, and Crater Prime, yep. Does okay. get his gas up after all. <laughs> all right, well, Vines did have a second gas. It was actually a little bit late to throw that on there as he was too busy microing his probe <laughs> in his circle, apparently. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see here now as uh, Pylon coming up for Creator. Both these players with uh, still pretty similar builds. Creator actually trying to uh, produce a stalker, oh, but was mind. a little that bit was, supply blocked. That was close. I saw that Chrono Boost, and I was like, oh, no. But it started building <laughs> right as soon as he Chrono Boost. Worst it. feeling in the world. I bet. Chrono man. Boost all four gateways. Yeah. All right. Warp in. Aw. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, three more gates on the way uh -oh. for Vine. So it is going to be a four gate. Yeah, let's see. He's still... Oh, he actually pulled uh, a yep. lot of his workers off of gas. So this is uh, a net result of very aggressive four gate. He's only mining yes. three gas in total. And how many workers does he have? I bet it's nine to 20. 20. Okay, I was close. All right, a little bit of an engagement in the middle now. Uh, Creator does have a little bit of an advantage because that probe actually gives him the extra little bump on there that he needs. And Creator, oh, actually just going to move away, worried yep. about these two pylons that are coming up outside of his uh, main. Yeah, he's got a lot of stalkers out. He went for the early stalker opening so he's not in the worst shape ever oh even bringing probes he does not want to have to fight this four gate army and one pylon going down is he going to be able to get the second one before the warp in happens it's, oh, oh he gets it oh that's oh, huge man. for creator that is huge for creator is now it gives him a much better position to defend off yeah. of this really really sets back vines so much in fact that he cancels the four gate altogether and goes right up to a robotics facility wow that really slows down vines yeah as you can see like you said oh. gave up on that four gate right away yeah put guys back on gas too many in some cases creator but prime dodged a bullet there that's that's for sure. Yeah, he really did. Now sitting on uh, three gates and going over to a robo. Yep. Uh, so he's up actually by seven supply. Five of that in workers has an additional stalker there as well. So unfortunately, Vine's not going to get much more traction with these stalkers. Not even really going to be able to effectively contain or anything. Yeah. Um, wow. Creator Prime pulling those probes. What a great response by him. He's going to come in and see everything too. Yes, he is. So 
He does get a good look around at Prober trying to recover health, but uh, he's going to see all four gates. He sees the Robo. He knows exactly what's up. And there we go, Vines. Uh, he cancels the Robo after it's revealed, wow. puts up the Twilight Council instead. Vine's really messing with Creator here, but we'll see if it pays off or not. Creator Prime does have his own robotics facility on the way and an expansion as well. It is Creator. Yeah, so even if Vines goes for something like DTs, Creator Prime should be pretty well prepared. He should have an Observer. Oh, he's got to be careful! Yeah, that, that's... Stalkers. Actually, Oops. good bit of damage there. Permanent damage, as a matter of fact. Yep. That Stalker really has to start ducking away. An expansion I'm... from Vines. Yeah, he is going to expand down to this. Has he already seen his opponents? No, nope. he has not. Okay, so yeah, not DTs or anything like that. He's just going to go ahead... Probably just go for Blink Stalkers to keep his expanse safe. And Creator Prime catches one Stalker. Yeah, not takes to, it out. Well, almost got two, was just one hex off with his force fields. Yep. So, Vines, a little bit behind right now, 53 to 37 supply. I think yeah. the worker counts are going to reflect that as well. Not as much as I expected, actually. 31 to 27 workers. So, yeah, a lot Vines of it's still in good shape with that. A lot of it, though, you know, Vines has tried to put up structures, has canceled them, put them up, canceled them, and Creator has just been able to pump good cycles of units off of his bases I over suppose, and yeah. over again. So, And uh, that five worker advantage that he was carrying earlier does amplify as you go on. Yep. So, now, are we going to see Creator Prime go for possibly a Colossus build here? Have to see. He's just pumping out Immortals right now before anything else. And, uh, you know, he's got a pretty good read on his opponent. Did he actually get in and see the Twilight Council already? Yes, he has. And he's got Immortals coming out and Immortals and Stalkers of his own, even with those uh, Colossi that are now going to hit since he does have a Robotics Bay on the way. Uh, that shuts down Blink Stalkers pretty hard. Yeah, Creator Prime looking pretty good here. Might be able to breathe some new life into the Prime team, but the supply for OGS Vines starting to catch up a little bit here, and uh, Creator Prime hasn't won this game yet. No. Vines could come back. Could certainly do so, and uh, Vines now going to sneak his way out with these Stalkers, see if he can get any traction, but uh, I hate to tell him there's a pretty stout army sitting there for Creator Prime in response. Yeah, man, he's already got two Immortals. He's got a good amount of sentries as well. Yeah. And yeah, that army of stalkers just does not look too strong. Oh, draws a guardian shield. Yes, he does. For uh, backing out, so that's not too bad. Blink is, uh, of course, or I'm sorry, finds blinking away there to escape any further danger. Doesn't really have a lot to go ahead and detect this observer. The observer is going to see everything for a considerable period of time. We yeah. finally do have a robotics facility coming up along with gateways number five and six, but those have been a long time coming for Vines. Yeah, so now I wonder if we're going to see... Whoops, Zealot on hold position there, and he's going to die. Oh, no, Zealot. Oh. Uh, I wonder if we're going to see Creator Prime serve. push with uh, two Colossi. That seems to be kind of the trend here. Mm -hmm. And he's got certainly strong, a certainly strong army. Yeah. Could do it. Thermal Lance, so. who's going to wait for that as well. That's also going to slow down the production of that second Colossus a little bit. All right. Well, uh, Creator losing a couple of units here. Hmm. Um, so Vines has shown pretty good control. And despite the fact that, of course, his opponent has a much bigger army, he hasn't really taken a lot of losses, loses one Stalker there finally. And it looks like Creator does decide that it's his time to start moving out. Sentry's going to go down the Colossus, just a ruffle stomp through the force field. Yep, that's right. And, oh, the Stalker's trying to blink around the outside. Basically, Vines is just trying to draw time or draw him off to buy time at this point. Oh, yeah. no, but losing a sentry or two as well. He does split up Creator Prime's army, though. That's not too bad. Yes, he does. And Creator Prime's a little more worried about these sentries, so he's starting to push yep. his way out across the map. Uh, Creator actually has to watch out. If this whole army came to bear on this small force in the middle, Creator would be in a little bit of trouble. Uh, these stalkers happen. are not jumping in, though. There they go. Jumping but, out. Yes. Yep, Robotics Bay on the way now for Vines, who's going to be going into his own Colossus tech as well. Thermal Lance for Creator Prime, getting pretty close to finish. And a Dark Shrine for Vines. Interesting. So we are going to see some DTs. Yeah. Uh, Vines. Does he have his own Observer out? It looks like he does. And did Creator lose? He may have actually lost his Observer that was hanging over his opponent's base. I know he has one on the hmm. field, but it may just be with the army at this moment. That could be. So Vine's taking a page out of his teammate Inca's book, going for some DTs. <laughs> and let's see here now as, oh, a couple of Blink Stalkers move into the path of the Colossi. The Colossi are 
uh, getting stronger and stronger, and range is just about to finish up. Oh, so they're still hitting the Colossi on the high ground. This pylon going to fall here in a second, and it looks like Creator just wants to sandwich this army. He's got to watch out and make sure he doesn't lose any uh, oh, Colossi. Oh, Colossi. And one Colossus, no. Takes a lot of damage, but does not fall. Yep. Now Creator Prime still has a nice supply advantage, and uh, Vines did keep that pylon alive, so if he wants to pile on the pressure, he certainly can. <laughs> yeah, you got to support oh, me in that oh, one. Come oh. On. oh, boy. Slow clap. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, Vines, he's uh, going to duck away now and not piling on the pressure, it appears. Nope. Which is sad. Um, and this pylon is going to fall eventually. Oh, Ooh. not before the DTs warp in. Yeah. So let's see what sort of detection that Creator Prime is going to have back at home. He is actually pursuing his opponent. Looks like he still did have an Observer hanging over his opponent's army, so. Well, yeah, I mean, he knows the DTs are incoming, but is he prepared anyway? DT's running right into the main, and there is an Observer there, though that is Vine's Observer, and he's going right for the Robo. Look at how fast those DTs kill buildings. Yeah, even without that's upgrades, scary. that's staggering. Bye-bye! Wow. And right. what else is he going to go after? He needs to be selective about what he kills. Going after... Probes, probes at this point wants to knock them off mining and i think then in that case he's going to go right for the robotics bay we'll have to see and we do have another robotics facility coming up for creator as yep. quick as possible but this did effectively just take this uh this attack and, and completely oh, stop it it completely stopped it creator um, doesn't have any observers out either right now does he no not at all oh wow what a oh, wait disaster. no no wait 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 wait. he, he is re he is bringing okay the one he does back. have yeah, one yeah, yeah. okay he does have one coming back yeah the one over his opponent's base uh but he is losing quite a bit these dts have already proved to be very very effective how many workers have gone down 17. not bad 17. And that's actually put, uh, you know, Vines at a huge advantage in terms of workers. Yep. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> disappeared. Bye-bye. Yep, you'll come uh, back to the stalker in a second. More probes getting taken out by that DT. He did kill the robotics bay as well. Yes, he did. Those DTs were worth their weight in gold, man. They did so much damage. Very well done by Vines. He's still behind on supply, though. So Creator Prime overall still is a little bit bigger. Okay, now actually they're even up. So. Yeah, but of course there's a 20 worker deficit for, for Vines, so Creator has a much larger army. Yes. All right. A zealot's going to move in from the side now. There's one zealot's going to pick up on that for Creator. He kind of just passes him by. So attack moving in, but it looks like Creator's going to be pretty well prepared for this. He should yep. be able to move away with his... Oh, okay. All right. See you later, Vines. He's just yeah. running into the middle line. See how much damage he can do. Woohoo! Those bleeding stalkers have to watch out. So much AoE damage from those Colossi. Yeah, I think Creator Prime is just going to be able to walk in and uh, kill Vines, it looks like. I mean, those blink stalkers can't stand up to that amount of Colossi. It is three to three, actually, though. Now that I look at it, I a won't. lot of Zealots coming in for Vines, but is it going to be enough? It won't last long against that kind of firepower, so yeah. the Colossi are actually winning out oh. for Creator. They're so low for Vines. Two have gone down, just one more remaining. Those Vines are mortals. Vines is double producing them, uh, but now he is forced to pull uh, probes off of the line. So now he actually has a respectable Colossus count once again. That's actually better than Creators, but you're right. These Immortals sitting on the low ground were able to out to actually range some of the Colossi and deal some damage, but now they're being neutralized by the probes, and they have all fallen. Yep, that's right. So looks like Creator Prime is going to continue to push despite his lower Colossus count. Yeah. It's going to be enough damage anyway. It's got a good gateway backbone to back that up with. Pulling ahead even farther in supply. Yeah, and that's just continuing to increase. Looks like he's doubled the uh, supply of his opponent. There's the GG. Prime has breathed some life back into their chances as Creator takes a game, sending us to game number eight.